Ooh, excited states. Neutrals. So identify the neutral element. Yes. Can you read it off? Yeah. Identify the neutral statement represented by this excited state electron configuration. And then write the ground state electron configuration. So it gives us 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. And 3s1. Okay. So it's good to, to draw it like this when we're doing it. Because we can see exactly what's wrong. Okay. So uh, the first red flag we should see is right here. We see two empty spots. Right there and right there. And we see that those spots are empty, whereas this guy is already starting to get filled. When we say that an atom is in a, an excited state, what basically happens is that an electron went from its original spot, got excited, absorbed some energy, and jumped up to a higher sublevel, okay, to a higher shell. And then this guy, he's going to quickly release that energy, usually in the form of energy or light, and he's going to fall back into the same spot. So we could say that this guy is in reality 1s2, 2s2, 2p, and we know that this one really belongs there, so instead of 2p4, it should be 2p5. And we leave the 3s empty. So what element is this? It's element 2 plus 2 plus 5, so 9, so it's going to be number 9 on the periodic table or fluorine.